Well, you guessed it. Special guest Kaylee. I'm a special guest Kaylee. Oh, oh. Now I trip over myself. We gotta run a cow to the vet. Upside down calf. And uh, figure out better safe than sorry. So dad's bringing her up. Trailer. Ready to go here. She was having twins. Completely upside down. Driving at the vet. We're gonna see what we got inside. Okay, so we're at the Verdon Vet Clinic now. We got her cow. We figure she's a Y, so she's probably 13 years old. And she's got a upside down baby. She's like, get this thing out of me. You're okay to be on camera. She's seen what the cat enjoys. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about the swearing, just do it. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we can just pull her without having to cut her open. No you never know. know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was shredding bales at 5 o'clock. Notice this cow has had a little discharge, but like that, come out of her tail. Out of her tail? Out of her, you know, who. <laughs> so, we gone in. Technical term. Yeah, the technical, I don't know what the technical term is. But, uh, <laughs> you can I oh, forget it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> This is farmer talk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, being a skinny old girl, we thought maybe she was having twins. Had a quick bite of supper. I guess it's been two hours since we first noticed it. Stuck an arm in. Front feet are like this, when they're supposed to be like this. Heads underneath here, when they're supposed to be up here. That looks like a, the a, calving, a calving dance, like the Macarena. So this is why we're here. I'm not going to rest it too much. I'm <clears throat> putting myself out. I'm tired enough as it is. Let's see what the ride to Verdon did. He's on the side now, not upside down. Oh. The so, worked. so yeah, the trailer. I think the trailer hopefully works here. Okay. This should be early, but... There's a leg. Yeah, there's two. There's two but I mean, coming right out, so it's oh. obviously up a little bit further than when you guys were. Okay. Are you maybe, checking? Maybe we were a little quick though. So, you see it? Never know. You see it? Yeah, she's not a typical. No. Cow at your place? No. No. Well, she's an old girl. She's an old She's probably a grandma how many times over? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She'll probably appreciate a little bit of help. Yeah. In fact, she was with the young cows all over the So, it's not like she was left the element of the other things. She just needs muscle condition as they age. We were so convinced it was twins, too, right? 
Okay. Yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah, the suspension three. Oh, well, you know, that wouldn't be the first year we had triplets. No, it's not the first time we had triplets. Come in. Aww. Little toes. Jebediah. Well, that's if it's a boy, remember? If it's a girl, it's going to be what? Twinkle toes. Twinkle toes. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. I love naming the calves. Everything seems to be. It's obvious it's not going to come up the same. What do you think now? Know. Yeah, those feet don't look no, crazy. No, no. I just so think she hasn't really got I'm where really she was getting. Pushing. Okay, well, it's all right. Got a little too easy. That's okay. Better than the opposite. Yeah, leave him too long. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. The, person swear. the baby kiss her feet. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, the baby polar 3000, yeah. There we go. Hello, baby Jebediah. Your guess is boy, is that you said? I want it to be a boy. She's just a little, her ball is a little bit tight just because she hasn't got anything really going, so I'll just do a slow stretch. Do you want to grab it? Oh, I like that. I think it's too There he is. Oh, not too Hi, Hi Well, for a not second there, I thought he didn't have any eyes. Mine, you don't get that. Mm -hmm. We only just met. He's It is a Jebediah. Jebediah. Nice feisty little guy. That's why his name's Jebediah. Make sure there's not a baby number two. That's a, he's a pretty big guy. Wow, like I said, it was completely upside down. I was a little nervous about it. I started to try. How, how would you try and roll it? It's so hard to roll it, honestly. Oh, okay. The best thing to do would be to put chains on if you can. And as soon as you start pulling those feet up, they sometimes... Or they would just, they would just, or oh, even okay. if you can find if the feet are upside down, even if you can flip them and try to pull them rotated okay. the right way. As you don't have to go in there and turn and try and roll it down. Not usually. Usually, once they get up to the canal, her uterus will get them the right way. But oh, okay. like by the time you got here, he was on his side. So oh, then it's literally it. just pull the feet in and. Okay, we went for a drive for kind of nothing. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Get on the bus, Gus. Don't need the bus, Gus. Jeez, you can't see nothing in there. Well, it's about an hour, an hour and a half later. All settled back home here. He just finished having a suck, even. So mama and baby are doing just fine. It was one of those deals tonight where, yeah, <laughs> Didn't really need to take her to town, but oh well. Best to uh, err on the side of caution. Wasn't sure she was calving across the road there when I was shredding bales. 
and I hadn't been there most of the afternoon so I didn't know how long she'd been calving and since she was kind of a frail old girl thought uh, you were kind of suspecting twins or maybe even triplets who knows and when I felt that upside it was completely upside down so We've been fooled like that before. Dad and I talked about that. He says, yeah, I know, I got... We've been fooled with that before, so... I guess we're just a little too antsy to go to the vet this time, but... Got a live calf, that's the main thing. We've done the other end of the spectrum where we waited too long. Still ended up going to the vet. Not the same result. So... Got her done. Mom and baby are fine. Just have to dig out of my pocketbook a little bit more. Oh well. Carry on. I'd like to thank the Verdon Animal Hospital, especially Haley, that did the procedure tonight. We have that vet clinic has been our mainstay of pretty much all. We've been there with them forever, basically, ever since Dad started farming. We've got lots of good vets there, and they're having their issues too. Lots of uh, work, but shortage of vets. Um, it's kind of a, I guess maybe a nationwide problem. I don't know, but if any of you folks out there that or have any interest in large animal veterinary work or like looked after large animals or know of kids that want to find a career in large animal vet encourage them because we need them they're our friends as much as they're expensive and everything else you know what in times of need they're great asset to have on that note it's getting late again it's probably 11 o'clock or something like that time to go to bed got whatever chores that need to be done so it was a quick video this time just kind of a last minute thing so like comment subscribe and uh, oh also thank you Kaylee that's my that's our niece they're out for the weekend, for Easter weekend, so she's likes, she could be one that could be a vet. <laughs> she likes animals, so we'll see how, see how she enjoys this. I know she enjoyed it tonight, that's for sure, so anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.